I'm Laura Watkins and I teach Key Stage 1. We've got children who absolutely love reading, children who are not so keen on reading, and then the same with writing. Um, and it's sometimes a struggle to get them engaged. One of the most beneficial things about the Leap Reader is that it's characters that the children have come across before. So immediately on seeing the Leap Reader, they're engaged because they want to find out whether they know the stories or not. And also when they start reading, there are cues and prompts to help them when they're not sure about words. We focus a lot on phonics in school and the Leap Reader does help with the phonics. Um, it splits up the word into different sounds. In this word, the letters I, G, H make the sound I. It's nice to be able to give them a book that they're already confident with. The Leap Reader does tell you if it's a tricky word, you can touch the word and it will read that for you. Touch the word time. Time. That's right. When you look further into the different titles that are available, there are also a lot of non-fiction. Um, and we have a lot of children at school who absolutely love finding out facts and being able to then tell their classes about those. So it was really good to have a range of non-fiction, fiction books, and then activities within that. The Leap Reader is great because it combines the best bits of reading from the point of view of the teachers and from the point of view of the children. They love the um, really bold images and the characters that they already know, but then it integrates all of the phonics that we've been doing in school, the one-to-one -one reading strategies like the pronunciation of words and making sure that they're using expression when they're reading. It's very accessible, the children immediately know that they can be successful with it and they can do it independently but they can also share what they found out and we've noticed when asking the children that they've picked up and understood a lot of what they're reading.